Hello and welcome to Zen in 10, where we focus upon the process and joy of drawing one tangle. Today I'm going to be drawing the tangle Hurry by Zen Tangle Headquarters. So let's start with our pencil, adding our four corner dots and joining them with a light quick stroke of your pencil to create a border. And Hurry doesn't need a string. To create spaces, I'm going to use a Micron 05 in black. And to start off, I'm going to draw a line that comes down to there and I'm going to aura it. You can see that I'm not drawing a straight line. I've added a little bit of a curve. You can make it straight. We're going to add another one now. And this one is going from corner to corner. And I've drawn it underneath which is called a hollybore technique, this technique of drawing underneath. So as you start drawing these lines, I want you to really focus upon the process of your pen on the paper. Can you feel the sensation of the pen running over that surface? Maybe you can feel the feedback, the surface of the paper. So you can see I've added those four different lines crossing over. Now we've done that, I am going to aura inside each section. So let's start off with this section and I'm going to draw one line here. And I'm going to do another line here. It doesn't really matter what side you start, but you're going to stay for this section on the same side as you turn your tile. Focusing on that one simple line, relaxing your shoulders, allowing your breathing to settle. So I've gone round once. I'm now going to do the other side. So we're going to go back the other way. So I'm going to start here and you can see that it's now a little bit of a staggered line. And we're going back the other way gently, no rush. Focusing purely on what you're doing right here, right now. Zentangle is actually more about the process of what you're doing and then the outcome will happen. So I've gone all the way round that way and now I can go back and we basically start building up these layers where it looks like You've plaited these sections together. Always approach Zentangle with the thought of you're just drawing this one line at a time and the next line will follow on from that. You don't have to think too far ahead. When you get to here, you can see, well, I don't want to do another one that way because you want to stagger it. So now I can start going back the other way. Quietly. Without any pressure, without any need or expectation to create something. It's literally just the process. And I've got back to where I need to be. Can do one more this way. I may even manage another way so you're just quietly going backwards and forwards and you start creating this lovely multi-lined 
crisscross. I don't know why it's called hurry. Back here, I can add a little bit, final little touch, just a little one. And one more here. Okay, so that is hurry. I'm just going to add in another little touch and that is just to add a little bit of rounding right in the centre here, just to give it where those first lines crossed over. And that will just give it a little bit of heart, a little bit of strength in the middle. Getting my pencil. And to add shade, I'm going to turn it and look at where these lines come here. I'm going to add a little bit of graphite in each of these. Almost like a zigzag going down. Soften it out down each section just to enhance where they crisscross. Yeah. You can shade in any which way you want. Always with shading, try and look for where the lines start or finish or meet. And that is usually a good indicator of where you could put your shade. And you can see it's just adding a little bit of depth. And you soften it out so it stays dark where you've initially laid down that graphite. And you soften it to lose those harsh pencil, pencil lines. Hurry is a lovely calming tangle. But you do need a little bit of focus just so you don't lose your way. But if you follow the process I've shown you of just drawing the line one way and once you finish that way, you reverse and go back the other way. You'll be fine. And so you can tangle just some little pieces without having to set aside a lot of time. You can maybe have, if you've got a larger piece of paper and you don't have much time in your day, section it up. And just add a little bit sometime during the day. Take these 10 minutes of quiet time when you've got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Just take it for yourself. Focus in. Okay, I'm just going back in. And I'm just softening around. And I'm not going to add any graphite on the centre. I am going to add a little bit around the edge here. This is called cushion shading because it gives the impression that the edges are slightly further away and the centre has puffed up, just like a cushion. If you were looking down on a cushion, and I'm going to soften that so you can see I'm pointing my torchon to where I want it most precise. So I don't want to, if I can, possibly avoid it to get the graphite into that nice white edge. And shading is an integral part of your tangling. Okay. And there. I'm happy with that hurry. I'm going to get my pen. I'm going to just sign on the front with your initials or your chop, turn it over and you can date and sign the back. Pop your pen aside and I want you just to pick it up and appreciate what you have created. And that is Hurry by Zentangle Headquarters. Thank you for joining me.